It was Aunt Katie who told us about our Italian ancestors, about Vita, the life giver of the Italian-American line who escaped from Italy. I've been to Southern Italy four times, mostly looking for the story of my great-great-grandmother Vita. She and her husband were apparently involved in a murder there. In the criminal file, it has the testimony from my great-great-grandfather saying that he's married to a woman, Vita Galatelli, which, of course, is supposed to be my great-great-grandma. But we had to make sure it was the right Vita Galatelli. And so we had to go back into the archives and look up the birth certificates because there's so many Vita Galatellis. Like I said, there's many Galatellis in the town. So we had to find the right one, and we did. We found it. And it's like a puzzle. We put it all together. It was the right woman and the right guy. So it was the crime. It was the family crime. So this is the house where Vita lived in the 1880s. I think she had her last son here. And um, so this is one of the places she lived before she moved to America. One of the other stories in the family was that she was a putonella, they say, which is a whore. And one of her sons was fathered by someone else besides the husband, and the name was supposed to be Greco. I told one of the historians the story, and he said, oh, well, of course, because the landowner was named Greco here. In Murder in Matera, I solve this case and discover who I really am. <laughs>